<clears throat> All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. There's your um, weekly reminder of the antitrust policy. Don't do antitrust. Um, <clears throat> okay, so on tap for the agenda today, we have um, our usual reminders for the uh, hatch test and the call for papers and the TSC election. Um, we will have quarterly updates for Fabric, um, and then we are waiting for Quilt and Sawtooth. I don't know if Adrian or anybody is on for Quilt. Uh, it, it doesn't sound like he'll make it. It sounds like he's in a conference uh, okay. right now. Um, all right, and then we uh, have no weekly updates for working groups. Uh, Mark has asked to um, uh, to bump his um, I'm sorry, not Mark Hart has asked to bump his because he's traveling this morning. And um, and then we have a proposal um, uh, for a uh, Hyperledger Labs, I believe. No, I've been, I've been, no, I'm sorry, that's a different one. Um, anyway, so we do have a proposal that we can review and hopefully somebody's on for that. Yeah, we can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, any other items for the agenda? If not, then Todd, you want to kick it off? Yep, sounds good. Uh, just three quick reminders. Uh, Hyperledger Global Forum, the, our major public event in December in Basel. Uh, the CFP will close tomorrow. Please get your submissions in for that. Uh, we'd love to see a lot of topics from the group here. A lot of great stuff has already come in. Uh, so thank you for those that have submitted, uh, but that does close tomorrow. Uh, next, the last hack test of the year will be October 3rd and 4th in Montreal. Please get registered for that. Um, we'll start talking in uh, kind of draft agenda in the coming week and take into consideration a lot of the things we learned from Amsterdam. But I think that was definitely a step in the right direction with the pre-planning we had done for that. Uh, and then the third piece, the timing and process has been approved as of last week for the TSC election. Nominations will begin August 9th. It'll run for a week and then we'll move into the voting phase. In the link for the timing and process, there is now a link to the uh, everyone that's eligible for that. And so that's based on the criteria and the charter, as well as what the TSC had approved additionally last week, which was the workgroup leads, the workgroup contributors as defined by the workgroup leads, or chairs rather, uh, as well as the labs. Um, so please look at that. Uh, as we get closer to August 9th, we'll be asking if your name seems to be missing from that, please reach out to Tracy or I uh, so we can investigate. Um, but uh, a couple days before August 9th, we will freeze that and call for any objections there. Otherwise, that will be the list that we need for nomination eligibility and voting. Um, those are my three updates. Any questions there? All right, then let's uh, move over to project updates. And Chris, I think that's you, unless it's uh, someone else in Fabric. <clears throat> yeah, no, that's me. <laughs> I need to figure out how I can get somebody else to do these. Uh, where is my TSC chat? There it is. Okay. There's the, um, I just pasted the uh, link to the update in the chat. So um, <clears throat> for, <clears throat> pardon me, for project, uh, for, for the fabric project, we, um, I think we're still going strong. <laughs> we're, we're continuing to grow and, and mature. Um, we, we pushed out a release almost on time in our quarterly cadence. Um, we, we ran into a snafu literally on the day that, uh, we were we were cutting the release where um, Debian had pulled support for some images that we were using. Uh, anyway, <laughs> long story short, we pushed it last week on the third of of July, um, and uh, the, the 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 announcement, if you will, the the more formal push will be uh, next week, coincident with OSCON, um, and I'll be giving a, a one of the keynotes uh, talking about what we're doing at Hyperledger. Um, <clears throat> we have a growing mix of contributors. Um, we actually bumped up a little bit 
um, in terms of the, the ratio of IBMers to non-IBMers, uh, it, it inched over 40%. Um, uh, and uh, however, um, the, the sort of the ratio of commits from outside IBM and on IBM actually grew. So, um, so that's good, right? So we're actually getting um, more content from non-IBM, which is, which is a positive. Um, and, um, and we actually increased our number of developers considerably. We're up to up 16. Um, and uh, we had about 1,450 commits there. Um, we are really doing well, I think, over in uh, Stack Overflow. We've got over 2,100 questions. Um, and that's actually sort of almost a doubling uh, quarter over quarter um, of the number of uh, new questions added. So this is, um, this is, this is good news. It's, it's a good sign that you know, people are using it and they have increasingly sophisticated questions. Um, we actually have spent this past week uh, almost, uh, we're going to wrap it up with um, the JIRA consultant um, this afternoon, but we've been, uh, I think, having a really good uh, engagement there. Um, she's been able to sort of help us with our workflows and recommending some plugins and so forth, um, uh, including we had a demo of Confluence as a potential replacement for the wiki if we wanted to consider that. And I know that that had come up in previous discussion uh, where Roja had asked for Confluence. And seeing the integration between JIRA and, and Confluence um, from a wiki perspective, it seems to me like it might be a really good improvement um, over Mickey, uh, Wikimedia. Uh, Wikimedia. Um, anyway, so, but that I think um, is uh, moving in a positive direction. And then next week we'll spend actually updating JIRA um, with the consultant and getting uh, all the all the issues transitioned over. Um, as I mentioned, we published our 1.2 release on the third, um, and uh, we also published a 1.1.1 uh, a couple days before that uh, to to backport some some bug fixes. Um, <clears throat> the you know the rate of downloads. So again, it, it continues to be I think um, uh, a steady stream of about an average of 100 or so uh, downloads a day. Uh, that's not all of them, but those are the ones that are tracked through a, um, a short URL. Um, I think actually a lot of people in China can't use that because it's Google, or it had been Google, and so uh, that, that that number may actually increase. I I change it to Bitly as of the end of the release, so we'll see what happens there. Um, in terms of uh, our overall, uh, you know, activity, the email traffic dipped a little bit after the spike in March when we had the one to one. Um, uh, and, and then move back up towards June. Um, and, uh, but again, we're, we're still going better than the year before. So year over year, I think we're, we're doing well. And then certainly there's a ton of traffic in rocket chat. And, uh, and as I mentioned on stack overflow with a 65% increase, um, our current plans are to continue our quarterly cadence of releases. So we're, we're expecting a release uh, at the end of three Q. Um, and we are in the process of working with the maintainers to agree on um, the, the release roadmap and, and which epics are, are going to get in. Uh, that planning is, is underway and, and we, we hope to be able to nail it down, I think, by the end of, uh, or by next week. Um, maintainer diversity was static, um, but we do see some, some possibility to add some, uh, some maintainers uh, on the horizon. Uh, contributor diversity, as I mentioned, basically um, it, it bumped up a little bit from an IBM perspective. Um, I think that was a result of um, some increased um, activity from IBMers uh, on testing and so forth. Uh, and, uh, you know, because things are in production now, we're, we're starting to get bug fixes and stuff coming from support teams. So, um, uh, so that obviously we want to work on, on some of that, but as I mentioned, the the sort of the stickiness, if you will, of contributions from others is, 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 is growing. And the, the type of contribution we're getting from non-IBMers is, is also much more substantial. So this is good, all good news. Um, and then finally, just you know, a note on sort of collaboration. 
you know, between cello, cello, I'm sorry, caliper, there's increasing interest in leveraging caliper for doing performance benchmarking and so forth. Uh, Burrow, obviously, with the integration of the EVM and Fabric in 1.2 and the continued work on uh, building out a proxy. Uh, and we had some really good, con and, and then, of course, with Indy, uh, I know there's, there's people looking at exploring how we can leverage Indy identities uh, in, in Fabric uh, for our in MSP. Um, and then, and then we had some really good discussions with uh, Sean. I, I had some good discussions, and so did Gary. I think with Sean from Sawtooth team, and um, we're exploring various areas of mutual interest. And then also had some really great conversations with Kelly on um, what we might do from an SGX perspective. So again, I, I think you know it's it's it, it's it's good news. I think um, you know there's uh, we had some discussion uh, in our. Um, uh, you know, we, we, we had a sort of an impromptu because I happened to be here in Raleigh with Gary and others. And so we had a, an impromptu sort of retrospective, if you will, on the release. Um, and we're put, pulling that information together. We'll have a, um, a, a sort of a community rep retrospective. But, um, you know, thinking about how we could maybe do planning a little bit better. We, you know, we, we overshot, you know, on the number of epics we thought we could squeeze in and so forth. And so, um, you know, we started thinking again, and it was a hallway discussion and can't help those sometimes, but um, of, of how we can potentially do that. So I, I think that uh, the maintainers meeting will start having idea, you know, sort of thinking about how we can um, better do planning and, and tracking than we have. So anyway, that's, that's basically the update. Any comments, questions? Hey, Chris, this is Tracy. Yep. I wanted to talk, to you, talk maybe a little bit about the, the confluence statement that you had in your update. Yep. Um, so we've done some research on confluence for uh, Aroha because they were interested mm -hmm. in using confluence. So the, yep. the cost of using confluence of our existing wiki is actually twice as much. Um, Why month. is that? Um, I have no idea. That's what we've been told by our IT folks. Um, maybe it, requires bigger machines or something. I don't really know. Um, but anyway. It's free. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Confluence itself is free because we're open source, but. Sure, okay. Yeah. Uh, and anyway, but there's also the cost of migration of existing wiki content, as well as yeah. the cost of um, people learning a new tool, right? Um, so people yep. have been using it. So just, uh, I think it's something that we should talk about further as a TSC. And uh, yeah. decided that's the direction that we want to head. Yeah, like I said, um, what I saw, I was really impressed with, and it gives us a better ability to build out, for instance, something that is much more easily consumable to people from outside the project in terms of understanding what's going on. We can build like epic pages and we can have a release, you know, roadmap page that is a little bit easier than trying to self-navigate Jira if you're not a, a Jira person, so. Um, hey, uh, Chris and Tracy, this yeah. is Dave. Um, just to remind you, remember the consultant said yesterday that if we're coming from one of the well-known wiki packages that there are conversion tools or migration tools available. Yeah. And I said, Wikimedia, and he said, oh yeah, yeah, there's, there's probably a, a good migration path there. So. Yeah. This, this yeah we'll Go ahead. Uh, uh, just a question for Tracy. When you said twice the cost, uh, is the cost initial cost like fifty dollars or two hundred thousand dollars? You know, what is the range? Because twice the cost implies, you know, double what is present. But if if it's insignificant, then um, not insignificant. If it's low, then you know, then it should Can be I possible to do that, right? Can I break in really quick? I'm sorry to interrupt you. That's Nikolai from Hyperledger Roja. So we were applying previously for Atlassian uh, program for open source projects. And uh, I think Hyperledger at all is legible for a free cloud version. So there are no expenses for the infrastructure and for the platform and all the plugins. Um, well, as for the plugins related to Confluence, there will be paid. If we are going to buy a server version, all the plugins, even the commercial ones, will be for free. Um, and um, a question for Fabric, um, for, for 
<laughs> Christopher, I mean, uh, do you use uh, Caliper is the part of your continuous integration? I'm sorry to interrupt you. <clears throat> I'm sorry, say it again, Nikolai? Yeah, my question is, so you use Huawei Caliper tool, right? Oh, I mean, Hyperledger Caliper, it used to be Huawei. So um, do you use it like a part of your continuous integration pipeline or what's the process of your use of this tool? Um, yeah, we're looking at, um, we have something called PTE, your performance test environment or something like that. Um, uh, and uh, we're looking at uh, leveraging uh, Caliper. And so we have an engineer that's starting to work in the team. Great, thanks. So it, it may end up being part of the CI uh, or maybe not. We, we aren't sure yet, but we're, we're okay. taking a look. And certainly just doing performance benchmarking and performance testing and so forth is, is something that's um, of increasing importance. And I don't want to spend money developing two things. Yep. So. Uh, the cost of uh, Confluence was $400 to set up and then $450 a month uh, continuous cost. The current cost of our wiki is $200 a month. And those are the prices that I got from LFIT for running it in our infrastructure. So that's the order of magnitude of cost. Yeah. Well, if, if we need to, we should, I think we should be able to go to the budget committee and make that request. I think what we have decided here is that um, <clears throat> it's a serious alternative and I think yeah. we should maybe move it off the TSC call and um, Right. all the people yeah Dave you were on the call and you saw how powerful it was it was really yeah I, it was pretty cool actually yes it really was um yeah so um yeah. I'll talk to Tracy I think we'll and Rye I think we should um have another meeting about it yep hate to, okay. hate to add to more meetings but maybe we'll come back to the TSC with a proposal yep okay and of course we don't have to you know do the migration but I think that would be ideal Anyway, uh, I think I think anything we would do would require a migration. So, um, because we have such great content on the wiki already. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's it. Any other questions? Um, I guess uh, from uh, my end. Uh, hello, I'm Sasha. Um, uh, I've been uh, working a little bit uh, with uh, Hyperledger Fabric and Composer and also contributing back a little bit to the community through uh, creating Helm charts and such. Uh, my main... Uh, uh, I'm very happy with the ecosystem, uh, but uh, my main concern is the scalability of the uh, of the uh, of the uh, fabric component, is particularly the CouchDB. I wonder if it's possible to somehow prioritize the improvement of the of uh, aspects of the CouchDB which uh, relate to scalability, so just the pagination, things like this. This would uh, go a long way to making. Uh, high pleasure fabric more scalable and more production ready, which in turn would, I think, increase adoption and also grow the community much faster. Mm -hmm. This is my only kind of uh, gripe currently with, uh, with high pleasure fabric. Well, we could, you know, we could take that offline and I'm happy to explore some of that with you. Um, from a scalability perspective, um, I haven't reached, you know, a, a point where I've run out of number of gears that I can connect, but <laughs> maybe there is. I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't, what, what was call. the question? No, no, I didn't understand the question about scalability. Uh, so maybe I can repeat. Um, uh, basically, uh, I've, uh, in our in our own tests, uh, we uh, found that it's uh, sometimes, uh, especially when you're combining uh, hyperledger composer and fabric. Uh, it's, uh, it works very well for proof of concepts, but the amount of data that can be handled uh, by the CouchDB components for the world state um, means that uh, often the, the actual requests become very, very slow. And oh, I think okay. it's useful to somehow improve the pagination for CouchDB, which I, I know it's a work in progress. It was planned initially for 1.2, but now it's been moved to 1.3. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, it's quite important thing for production to to make sure that it, uh, it's uh, it's one of the key priorities. Uh, I'm sure, and of course, there's a limited uh, hands on deck. Uh, I, I realize, but I wanted to if there's anything, um, and also ourselves to, to to help. 
Okay. Okay. Cool. I could take it offline as you suggested, Christopher. Or okay. write to other. Yeah, on, on chat, the, the fabric chat, and then we can start following with the Jira task. Yep. And it's going to be easier. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, Todd, I guess next up would be the IBAN P proposal. Uh, and, uh, so found do you like, have a link? Yeah, one moment. It sounded like someone was on from there. So that's uh, Federica or I can't remember her colleague's name. Uh, or Lorenzo, either of you on? It sounded like one of you was on earlier. Well, I'll drop the link in one moment. Federica, are you on? Hmm. I know they, um, yeah, we're they confirmed. <laughs> yep, as of yesterday. Saw right. It. Okay. Well, um, I guess we'll have to defer that. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. Sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know we had we had confirmed that. So, um, and then the discussion on the copyright is that still? I know you guys have been traveling a lot. So, I don't know, Tracy, where does that stand? Do we ever nail down with? Um, yeah. So uh, we we haven't yet. Uh, we were traveling. Uh, our legal folks were traveling as well. So right. um, I yeah. think now that we're all back, um, at least <laughs> until we leave next week for Oscon, um, I'll send out an email and see if we can get something okay. set up for that. Okay, good. I, I think, I, I know I, I've seen uh, in Fabric, I don't know if others are following the same suit of using, at least for uh, new content or content where there's... Um, you know, it was clear it was developed, you know, sort of within the community we're using the proposal, but I still think it's important to get the answer on the, what happens with the original contribution, so. Sure. Okay. Um, all right, well, I guess everybody gets uh, 35 minutes back then. So sorry about that. And uh, we'll talk to you all next week. Maybe see some of you at OSCON. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks everyone. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Bye-bye. All right. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.